Apple basically invented multi-touch back in 2007. Stuff like pitch to zoom changed the way we interact with our phones. Now with 3D touch on the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, Apple is changing the game again. Think of it as another dimension of interaction with your smartphone. The screen, which does not move, can respond to light pressure and a hard press. In essence, apps, utilities, and activities can be enhanced with a new level of interaction that go beyond touch and deeper into what Apple is calling quick actions and peak and pop. 3D Touch quick actions are scattered throughout the iPhone 6S and 6S Plus, and you access them by placing your finger over the icon and pressing down until you receive a satisfying little vibration, Ooh, and the quick action window pops up. In places where quick actions exist, like mail, camera, and safari, pressing on the screen connects you to a host of commonly used functions like redeem in the app store, take a selfie in the camera, and add a contact on the phone. It's particularly helpful in maps, letting you press the map locations for instant access to directions, a homepage, or phone number. Peek and Pop also reveals information hidden in links and email, but in a way that lets you peek under the hood and then back right into what you were doing before. You can even see 3D touch in action on the lock screen if you select the live wallpaper option. Then, even when the phone is locked, you can press down on the screen to see the on-screen image come to life. So how good is 3D touch? I'm just gonna say it, 3D touch alone is almost worth the price of an upgrade to an iPhone 6S or 6S Plus.